Hello, welcome back guys. In my last video, I spoke about Carnival and the cruise industry, and how much trouble they are in. In this video, I will go more in depth into them after they just released their Q2 earnings, talking about when I think they will come back, and what they are doing that you should be aware of before investing. I personally had a cruise booked for December this year that I have now had to move back to November 2021 and I'm still not confident that the cruise will go ahead. Anyway, let's get into the details. Now we knew that Q2 earnings were not going to be good, but wow, did not expect it to be this bad. I didn't think they would be selling off their ships along with a net loss of $4 billion in this quarter alone. They have confirmed that cruises have been cancelled until September, but I expect this to continue on for much longer. So we now know they are losing money at a rate of $16 billion a year. If they do survive, it will take them a long time to recoup this. And with less ships, they will be doing this at a much slower rate than they were making money previously. I don't believe that the cruise industry will go back until there is a cure for the coronavirus. The reason I do not believe that they will go back until then is because cruise ships have a high rate of infection, believed to be caused by their air filter system. From everything I have read, if we have a cure by this time next year, it will be the quickest ever vaccine. Just the process of making the cure and distributing it to the whole world will take a fair amount of time. And this is why I'm staying away from investing in the cruise industry. I feel when things go back to normal, $15 to $20 might be a fair price, considering they have less ships and more debt. But for $15 to $20 for them now is absolutely ridiculous. We aren't even close to when their company can start to make a recovery. To make their share price seem even worse, they have been increasing the number of shares they have by 11%, making their share price 11% less valuable. And out of all the cruise companies, Carnival, in my opinion, has the most risk. I did at one point consider buying Carnival when it was around $9.70, but I am glad that I didn't. You might be sitting there going, Hayden, you could have doubled your money. And yes, that is true, but Carnival themselves have done nothing to make the share price go up. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. If there is another company you'd like me to break down, please comment that down below. Also, in the description, there is a link to one of my videos showing you how you could win a $50 Amazon gift card. So for sure, go check that out.